Bismillah. Salam and hello, everyone. Today, we're going to be working on the question on the screen, which is a conversion of um, units of pressure. We're asked to convert 770 tor in pascals. So the first thing you have to know is that tor and pascals are units of pressure, just like atmosphere, mmHg, kilopascals, and bar are also units of pressure. So all seven of them are units of pressure. So whenever you're doing unit conversions, you're going to use the style of um, solving the question based on dimensional analysis. So you have 770 tor, right, times a fraction, right? You have to have your tor at the bottom and you have, you have your pascals up top. The reason why we do this is because since we're going from one unit conversion, which is tor, to pascals, we want to arrange our calculation of conversion, the unit conversion, in such a way that the information, the units we don't want anymore, which is tor, can easily cancel out. And the unit that we do want in the numerator, pascals, stays so we can have our answer in pascals. So now that we've gotten that information out of the way, the next thing you have to do is to compare pascals and tor together based on the chat um we have or the chat or the information that we have in parentheses based on the standard um standard values we see that 760 tor is equivalent to 101,325 pascals so that would be 760 tor at the bottom and you have 101,325 pascals so the next thing you do is simple math you just cancel out the tor and then you end up with 770 times 101325 divided by 760 pa pascals so what you end up with is inputting this information in the calculator we're going to get 102,658.224 pascals and when we do this information in three significant figures we're going to have approximately 103 Zero, zero, zero pascals, which is the answer to this particular question. So that's basically our answer to this question. I wish you guys all the very best. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.